Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. In this week's tip, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to establish the head of household for an account. If I start by going to my patient list, and we'll choose Lyndon and Sally Johnson as an example, I'm going to double click on Lyndon, and we will open up his patient information screen. From here, you can see that Lyndon Johnson is the head of household for his own account. What that ultimately means is that he is the person who will be receiving the bill for anything that's done on his ledger or for any family members that are attached to him. Currently, if we look here in the family section, you can see that there are no family members attached to him. If Lyndon happened to have someone else who was the subscriber of the insurance, you would simply choose that person's name from here and set up the relationship to the subscriber. The person who's the head of household, however, does not have to be the same person as the subscriber of the insurance. Of course, in the real world, sometimes it's not that way. So we do have the benefit of being able to choose one person for the subscriber of the insurance and one person to receive the bill for the account after the insurance is paid or the anticipated patient portion ahead of time. We can see Lyndon does have an address listed here and a home phone number. If I go ahead and close the screen, we'll double click on Sally and pull up her account. Let's say Sally is married to Lyndon. You can see here that she is designated to be the head of household for her account and we do not see Lyndon listed as a family member. We could of course leave them this way and we would be able to choose the family statement to send and both of them would get their own statement. However, because we have a patient statement option in the system, we can still choose to bill them separately if that's what we desire after we link their accounts together. In order to link their accounts, I'm going to establish that Lyndon is the person who should be receiving the bill for Sally. The way I'm going to do this is just deselect self and here in the drop down list, I'm simply going to choose Lyndon as the head of household. Now, once I save my changes, you'll see we get a couple questions here. Do we want to overwrite Sally's address and phone number with the new head of household information? What that means is any information on Lyndon's account as far as the mailing address and the home phone number will pull over onto Sally's account for us by saying yes. We don't have to have it this way if, for example, they happen to have two different addresses, but the bill is going to go to Lyndon still. We can keep Sally's address as is. Of course, in this scenario, they're husband and wife, so yes, they would live in the same address. Now you can see in our patient list, they are listed with the same address. And if I go back into Lyndon's account, just by double-clicking his name, we now see that Sally is listed as a family member for him. And I can double click on her name right from here to go to Sally's patient information screen very quickly instead of going back to my patient list and pulling her up there. You can see Lyndon is listed as the head of household and he is also listed as a family member with head of household designation. If you happen to have the opportunity to simply create a new family member right from the account, you can select add a new family member. That is the other way you can link people to an account and Linden would be the default for any new family member that you have added. If you are needing to separate these two people from being linked as family members, if a divorce happened or they wanted their own account and to never have the same bill, you can simply select self as the head of household for Sally once again save your changes and Lyndon would no longer be listed as a family member to her account. And so you can see from Lyndon's account, Sally's no longer listed as well. If you have any further questions about this tip of the week or any others that we've done or need any assistance with training, please feel free to contact Dentmax at 1-800-704-8494. Thank you.